Okay, I'm going to show you how to properly update a dual NAND Slim. This is a Trinity. And I've already got it on the newest XE build. I'm going to show first. I'm just going to boot the free boot or GG boot side. See the glitch light here blinking to let you know that it's glitching. You see it's got the custom boot animation, you already know that that's hacked. And this is all running off the internal memory unit, it's going to go to Freestyle 3. I don't have a controller, so I don't really have a way to show that it's on the newest dashboard. And then we turn off. And you hold in the sync button. And power on at the same time. I may have done that wrong. I mean, I, I, mean, I think the sync button might have come loose. It did. I got it that time. I got my flash drive with the new system update already on it. I guess I'll, I'll wait here a second and show you the in the dashboard. You can see it's the older dashboard. It's not that new one. Now, insert your flash drive with the new system update. Obviously, you have to keep it booted retail if you're doing an update. You can't just you can't let it boot the glitch side. So you have to let it do its proper procedure, which apparently I screwed up. Okay, hold sync, power on. Now it's obviously booting the 
retail site again it's going to finish the update it started it the first time then it rebooted itself and now it's looking like it oh okay I already have the avatars file set, uh, on there from doing the update doing the avatar update while it was uh, on the RGH side so now retail is updated turn it off now when I power on normally <coughs> I'll get the glitch And that's all there is to it. It doesn't check the CF anymore, so the LDV doesn't need to match on the RG8 side. And you're all updated. You can get on live with the retail side now. <laughs>